Zonko is having trouble with oscillations on the yaw axis, especially when you raise the throttle. If you have throttle dependent oscillations, then it's likely that you have excess P gain or perhaps excess vibration, but usually excess P gain. He says though that it's strange because he decreased his P gains massively, but nothing changed and the gyro didn't change either. So let's take a look at the black box log and see what's going on. And as always, but especially when we have oscillations, we'll take a look at the gyros. The gyros don't look particularly noisy, but it is worth checking to see. We're going to look for gyro LPF is off. That's the hardware filter, and that's what it should be. And the gyro low pass is 70. And the, the D-term low pass is 110. So that's not very filtered on the D-term, but it, those filtering values are, are okay. Uh, what I wanted to check was, I want to make sure that this smooth-looking traces here, the thin lines that indicate you have a noise-free copter, are not due to just being filtered very excessively, which which could cause its own kind of problems. And they're not. The, those, those filter values are not excessively low, uh, range of around 70 to 110, something for the gyro. And 110 is certainly a high value for the D-term. So we do not have excess filtering here. Let's now go ahead and look at the yaw axis and see what we can see. And what you say is that as you raise the throttle, you get oscillation. So let's go find a spot where you raise the throttle. Now here you punch the throttle. It doesn't stay up for very long though. And here it gets high and things do indeed get messy. Now let's zoom in and see what we can see. And, and we can see that the gyro and the p-term are opposing each other almost completely. Again, this is similar to Mr. Sato's, which I just looked at. They're almost a, a complete negative mirror image of each other. This to me feels like low p-gain. The p-term is trying to oppose the gyro and correct the error that is occurring, because of course the yaw stick is centered. So any gyro move is uncommanded, therefore the p-term should move to oppose it, and it is. But obviously, it's not effective at that because we can see that we're getting these isolations. So this, this looks, anytime you've got the P and the gyro that are essentially mirror images of each other like this, it feels to me like that's low P gain. But you said you had these oscillations and they occurred when you had higher P gain as well. One thing that we can tell is that we can look at the yaw axis and we can see that the yaw axis is moving. And if that's consistent with the oscillations that you're reporting, then that might mean that the copter is actually vibrating. Uh, sometimes you can appear to have oscillations, but in fact, it's maybe a loose FPV camera or a loose camera lens and the copter is not actually oscillating. Now it's tough for me to tell though, because this doesn't look like a particularly messy gyro trace either. Nothing is like crazy about this in terms of noise and stuff. So. It's certainly possible, and especially here, very low magnitude on, on yaw. Your P is, is very low, and your yaw axis is, is barely breaking single digit degrees per second. So it, I think it feels to me like you, you're saying you got these crazy oscillations, but I'm not seeing anything in this trace that's indicative of crazy oscillations when you raise the throttle. The yaw, the yaw axis gets a little messy, but that's normal when the throttle goes up. I would like to take a look at your roll axis and see if anything happens there. Oftentimes, if there's a problem with the tune, it'll show up on the roll axis first, because as we've talked about, the weight is more centralized on the roll axis, and therefore the uh, copter is less inherently damped. But again, as you raise the throttle here, we don't see any signs of oscillation or anything like that. Your gyro traces are clean. You do not have a lot of filtering. We don't see any signs of things flipping out in your tune if your copter in this state is having what you consider to be strong oscillations or lots of vibration then i think that you've got like a loose camera or something because there's nothing in this black box log that seems indicative of any kind of crazy oscillations or anything like that that's my opinion i hope it's helpful happy flying